Terry, how did you get involved in uh, Reach Out for Mental Health? Uh, well, it's through Linda and Doreen initially, but I um, always had, had uh, an interest, not, not that sort of interest, but been involved in it from the days in the police. Um, after suffering from depression and thinking about suicide myself, um, then returning to work afterwards, I was really surprised about the amount of people that I'd spoken to after in the police that had suffered similar sort of things. Did you get a lot of help in the police? Not a great deal. What period was this? Which decade was this? This was um, late eight, um, sorry, late nineties, and um, coming into the the blows. So how did you actually? So how did you get involved in this? How did you hear about this project? How did you get involved? I heard about it from Linda. Hmm. I spoke to Doreen, and Doreen and I hmm. are together. Um, so. And what can you, as it sounds like, what do you think you can contribute? I'm not interviewing as a job interview, no, but no, no. what do you think you can contribute? Apart from being there and know some of the signs that, that can be exhibited and spoken about, um, have the patience to, to listen to people, which is for one, of, one of the things I believe, something that the people that are considering suicide and taking their own life don't allow themselves to be heard and I think they do need to be heard. How about yourself Linda, how did you get involved? I saw the advert that Kirsty put in the paper, um, she was, what she was doing and wanted volunteers, went with Sora, liked what I saw, explained everything to me. Um, I worked at school working with youngsters so sort of that really sort of made me think I did the Samaritans, which then gave it up, and then I wanted something else because I know how well that worked for people. So it was an ideal thing. Do you think young people, young people, are more likely these days to think about suicide than they are maybe in the nineties, the sixties? Definitely. Think, why do you think that is? They don't look a very happy bunch, do they? <laughs> no, sometimes um, some of them are, aren't they? But. There's so much pressure, and like all this social media as well, I don't think that's a good thing personally. I really don't, because they need to have a certain amount of friends and that, and then it just, yeah, doesn't work. How about yourself, Doreen? I used to teach at the same school as Linda, and um, one of my duties was a child protection officer. So, as a trained counsellor, um, I used to counsel not just the children, but their parents also. Um, and there was definitely a need for someone to come and vent their issues with. Um, there definitely is more children now in the need of somebody just to listen to them. Because they, as Linda said, they go on to websites, they go on to Facebook and Twitter and all the other outlets and feel they've got low esteem about themselves because they don't compare favourably to this person and that person. There's bullying going on. Um, and where years ago you'd sit down and talk to your friends or your parents or your relatives now, everybody does it online. Um, and because this opportunity came up, I'm now retired, I thought perhaps that people could benefit from my experience. So, so if I, Terry, um, what do you, how do you feel this project should grow? How do, you, do you think it should grow, and if so, how do you think it should? How should it grow? Kirsten and I have spoken on a couple of occasions over alternatives rather than being a drop-in centre or, or, or the like and, and as Kirst has mentioned previously to yourself and that is with um, online so it is using media uh, and even down to using Skype as, as an alternative to actually meeting face-to-face -face, uh, gives the people 
the law. Give, give those that are, that are considering this as an option the opportunity to talk to someone that's prepared to listen and to help in whatever way they can. Um, and the that source of media is readily available to just about the whole of the population now. Right. Well, thank you very much.